Nothing you can say could make me any less furious at you. Oh, man. Oh, man. Do you think... Do you think I wanted to file those reports on you? Do you think I liked filing those reports on you and keeping it from you? Baby, I didn't have a choice. Okay, well, you're making it sound like Frank held a gun at your head and made you do it. It wasn't Frank. It was the FBI. <laughs> the FBI? The FBI? Since when did they care about me? Ever since you tried to shoot Edmund and toss him off of a cliff. Now, actually, they've been interested in you since you shot hard and fled the country and bargained your way out of a foreign prison. So how long? Huh? How long have you been making reports on me? And how long have you been watching me? Huh? Ever since we were together, before we were together? Please just hear me out, okay? Do you know why I filed those reports on you, Dinah? Do you know why? Because if you hadn't, you'd be in prison right now. It's bull. No, that's the truth. Do you know why the feds never press charges after you run in with Edmund? Do you know why? Because I stepped in for you. You barely even knew me then. No, you're right, I didn't. But I knew you well enough to know I couldn't, I couldn't bear to watch them send you away. I thought maybe this girl just needs a chance. What, was that a charity case to you? Is that what our relationship was? Like, you, you, you just felt sorry for me? Stop. Just let me finish, okay? Please, just let me finish. Just hear me out. I saw something in you then. I used every contact I had at the Bureau to try to get someone to listen to me. That this woman does not belong in prison. And I told them, I will vouch for her. And you know what? They agreed. Under one condition, that I file reports on you. On you and your activities. It's not the deal that I wanted, obviously. But I thought, you know, that's a small price to pay to keep you out of prison. Baby, come on, was I wrong on that? I can't believe I'm hearing this. I did it because I thought I was helping you. I did it because I thought I was protecting you. What did you tell me? I couldn't, the feds. I am your allegiance. It comes me, me first. I swore to them as a law enforcement officer. I don't care. I don't care. Those reports that you made made me sound like a common criminal. Maybe it's not like that. What else haven't you told me? Nothing. Nothing. I hurt you, I'm sorry. Maybe there's just all kinds of other things going on right now. Maybe that's why you just, maybe it's just hitting you so hard because of that. Such as? I don't know, all the wedding, all the stress, you know. Maybe we're both just freaking out. Remember the other day when you, you were doubting us, you know, and doubting yourself? I don't know, maybe, maybe you're just doing it now. Are you serious? Are you serious, my... <laughs> I think I might even just hit you again right now because you were sounding so unbelievably condescending. That's not... That's not what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, it is. It is. You know why? Because you're making it sound like I am the silly little crazy Dinah that's gonna go into a tizzy over nothing. But it is not nothing. Okay? You kept tabs on me, and I know exactly how you think. That is exactly why you did not tell me about this deal that you struck, because you knew how much it was going to hurt me. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, you knew that, but you know what? You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't have a clue how I feel inside. You don't. Because, you know what? You have always wanted me to be something else. You have always wanted me to be someone else, and I don't know. Let's guess. Who have you wanted me to be?
Now you know that we're way past that. Oh, you know are that. We? Yes, I love you because of you. You know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? You don't trust me. You don't trust me. You don't trust me to do things the right way. You think I'm gonna just go on this spontaneous rampage and be like the old diner? The old diner that's gonna mess things up. But you know why? Because you didn't, you've never wanted me. You never wanted someone like me. You want someone organized and together who's gonna come to you in a white wedding dress. Well, that's not gonna be me. That is never gonna be me. Stop, stop. you're twisting things around. You see, I trusted you. And I thought you trusted me. My God, Marilyn, I needed you to trust me. But this whole thing has just been a lie. From the beginning, it's just been a lie. Hello. So, let me get this straight. We're heading into our first debate next week. Mm. You're leading me in the polls, but you're upset. You want to tell me why? What am I to you, Jeffrey? Really? I mean, what am I? Is that a trick question? Do, am I just this sad widow, you know, that everybody laughs about the, behind my back? No one's laughing at you. You sure? Well, I take you very seriously, both personally and professionally. I think I've proven that. Mm, I forgot. <laughs> I think I need to be reminded. So what are you doing for the rest of the night? 